time we're actually going to be doing a let's play now I just started up a brand new world we're going to be in pure survival and well here's my plan if it's possible to make something out of it I'm gonna make it we'll make every single farm we can in fact, I'm honestly thinking about making a base in every single biome. <laughs> but yeah, so let's get to uh, huh, just starting out. I actually did look at this seed a little bit to see what it has. I didn't get everything because, well, I'm the only one looking at it. But yeah, the seed will be in the link in the description. Uh, the seed will be in the description. So if you want to play along, build your own stuff into the same world I'm playing in. So now we got some wood, we got a sapling. Let's, uh, oh, two saplings. <laughs> I need to get four. Let's uh, create some rudimentary tools. Now we're going to need one more set of sticks because we need a sword too. But I always go straight for the pickaxe and uh, upgrade. So let's get some rudimentary tree tools, get some basic starting gear, some food. Let's create another pick. Stone pick and a stone sword. Break this and uh, let's get us uh, some food and leather. Yeah, we're really not even going to bother with going uh, leather armor. <laughs> because, well, how fast I get to iron. Yeah, but we need uh, a decent amount of food. Some wool, because we're going to need a bed. Saplings for trees. We're going to... I'm going to do a lot of spruce because I like uh, the way spruce looks. And we're just going to be building every single possible thing I can think of in this world. So let me uh, get to where our first base is going to be at and we will go and I'll bring you guys right back in there on my way I'll be gathering uh, some minor little bit of resources here and there like this coal <laughs> so I'll be right back I actually uh, made it to uh, well our first temporary home it's gonna be this village here which has pretty much a lot of the stuff that we need I've already uh, raided all the buildings just to see what was in them and got some good stuff a set of iron boots an iron pickaxe ooh bunnies yeah I know the uh, berries aren't the best food in the game but they're quite useful Campfires are laying around and utilize those to get myself some more. Oh yeah, I haven't even opened up the map. Yeah, we're here in this corner of the of the world. We're gonna uh, find a nice mountain over here and build a mountain base. And the first thing we're gonna do is get a storage. Because well <laughs> everybody knows you need storage in this game. So Let's grab this steak. Let's put 
you, you, and you. Yep, that's all the current food that needs to be cooked. Yeah, so as I uh, slowly progress, I'm going to get more and more. And we're going to first figure out where we're going to place the, well, iron farm because we need iron for the storage. So, I'm going to find a spot, dig down all the way to bedrock and uh, build my first iron farm because that's actually a nice solid one to use. But you guys, I'll be right back as soon as I get that done. I was uh, actually looking to get more resources. I found myself a skeleton spawner. I haven't checked the loot yet, so let's take a look. Run flesh bones, ooh, I like that. String bone, more bones. Run flesh, a name tag, and 13. Redstone. String. We'll take a look at what those books are in a moment. And we have a Flame One book and a Bane of Arthropods book. Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> not worth not worth it but yeah um, I'm actually <laughs> trying to figure out what I'm going to be doing so it's important that we get bones because some of the farms I'm going to make require bones and some of them well don't but we need to get a dog in here drop the skeletons everything so we're going to start working on this. We're going to have to make a trip to the nether because we need to have, well, an observer. So we need a piece of nether quartz. But it's actually not that far from uh, where we're settling down at. So we don't have, so that's nice and solid. Nothing's going to spawn. Yeah. Let's just make sure nothing spawns in here. Because I don't want to deal with it. But yeah, so. <laughs> you guys, I've got it. Oh, yeah, i got to go look for more resources. <laughs> Be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. And, well... As you can see, I'm geared out in iron armor. I have iron tools, at least the major ones. And I did move locations, and I got a small little house. <laughs> yep. I'm not the greatest builder, but I like the house. Double storage chest, smoker, blast furnace, crafting table, regular furnace. A lot of room in here. Up top, some mob proof, so nothing's gonna pop up. I got all of these, plus all of these. So, and yes, I do have, I am holding a treasure map, and no, I have not got it yet. I will. I just haven't, I just need to get a little bit better set up. But yeah, I was trying to get some mining done so I could get to the nether. Because I need obsidian and I need to get some lava. But yeah. So, but this is the area. This is going to be the location of the first base. Nice big valley. High mountains. Yep. I like the mountains. Can actually do quite interesting things with the mountains. Like places where people can actually come up and build a wall. Knock a few blocks down. Like they would have normally done it. Nice flat areas. 
flower forest right behind us so over here I'll be making a flower farm yes I know I probably wouldn't be using all the flowers but I will be making a flower farm because it's just it's a farm and I like to show you guys everything that is entirely possible for the PS4 so let's see here and next thing we have to do is make an iron farm still yep we need iron so I'm gonna actually go back towards that village later once I actually have a few things and start working on an iron farm getting them down Ooh, gotta collect all these We're still early in the game we can't just throw away uh, resources that we need sticks I could throw away but yeah I need the saplings and oh, not yet not yet so I'm gonna grind out ugh, I'm gonna grind out quite a bit of this stuff for you guys and once I actually get to the nether we will be right back okay guys I'm back I have uh, decided uh, in the middle of uh, I think of where I should go gather resources I was like I need more food than what I currently have I don't have much I need more and then I remembered I just put a video out for a uh, AFK fish farm well let's gather these yeah and we'll just build it right over here uh, yeah this is only going to be temporary because I don't like having it up oh I forgot slabs <laughs> so we're gonna build the fish farm I'm gonna go AFK for a few hours just so that I can gather what resources I want to have so just like in the tutorial only difference is I'm actually using I have to do everything the hard way now uh, let's get my eight chest I might not need all these chests but I rather have them just in case and that's why I carried two pickaxes with me <laughs> all right and they're all going in perfect oh so let's just build this out of wood that's in the bottom one I'll leave it and yeah this is one of the first farms I always make because they are because it is so useful early on in the game later in the game you have yourself some massive uh, emerald farms so that uh, villager trading and everything like that so you really wouldn't need this farm as much can't believe I just did that but yeah let's oh I forgot my note block very key component and my dust 
Yep, I thought I had everything. I don't have much dust, so the advantage to this one is it is so early game. And then you know, I'm going to create a, a safe place. Yeah, I prefer, if you guys are wondering why am I using classic crafting versus the console, is because I prefer the classic. And that's it. <laughs> no reason. And you... String there. Don't hit the hitbox, there we go. And a block there. Top part of the door, and there we go. Now, all I have to do is encase this to protect myself from the mobs, because it's gonna go night, day, night, day, night, day. And there's no way that I can uh, sleep while I'm doing this. Probably could if I set something up, but uh, meh. So much easier if I don't. So, you guys, when I actually uh, get the building set up and after I AFK for a good amount of time, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back and I've been grinding for a little bit, getting things needed for uh, the next episode when we're actually going to go deal with that uh, skeleton spawner. Which means we got a diamond pickaxe. I got an enchanted with an efficiency 4, unbreaking 3. And yeah, that's going to drive some of you guys nuts, but that'll be cleaned up before the next episode. But enchanting table, nothing much. I got a mine over that way. And another portal. Now, I'm going to state this. I don't like the location that this nether portal is in the nether. So... What we're gonna do is take care of it right now. I don't like that it's in <laughs> another fortress. Oh, we need to go grab some stuff <laughs> first. So, first things first is we need either a lot more obsidian, which I only have one piece left, or and a flint and steel. So I'm just gonna take a flint and steel. Now what we do is we need two coordinates. We need the X coordinate, which this is 90, 97 and 30. Take those, divide them by eight, divide them by eight. So that's 97 divided by eight gives us 12.125. And 30 divided by 8 gives us 4. So we're going to... Well, I forgot what we said, but we're going to go to y uh, not Zulu 30. Uh, 97 divided by 8 and 12. 312. Actually, 12, 3. So we come here, we break our portal because we don't need this one anymore. We're going to utilize the uh, obsidian here because I can't be, uh, I can't afford to just go mine obsidian yet. This takes so long. So yeah, I'll get mining and then I'll finish this up obsidian. Actually, it shouldn't take us that long because I do got a efficiency 4 on this. But we need at least 10 pieces of obsidian for the portal. I'm taking all of it. Because I like using obsidian in certain things. And I actually like a uh, 3x3 portals. So the first thing is, what we got to do is determine do we want to go to the roof or to the floor. Well, we're going to go to the roof. So, let's uh, dig all the way up 
to the ceiling. When digging in the nether, be cautious because of pools of lava. And then occasionally you get these areas. If you have blocks that you can fill her up on, make sure you do it fast. And everything you do, do it quick. The simple rule of do not dig straight down or straight up doesn't apply when working in the nether as much. There, now we're up here. Oh, and we need a lot more quartz for what I have planned. I did gather some, but we always need quartz. So, let's see here, we're at, well, let's go higher. Let's get to the bedrock ceiling. Oh, and when you come across quartz, we're just going to mine it out. I wish this was fortune, but... I'll probably uh, do some fishing to get us some, uh, to get uh, more, to get uh, uh, a fortune book. But yeah, 117. Can't remember where uh, the ceiling. There it is. So yeah, this will be a good spot to do it. So now we go to. Well, if we don't fall through. Y12, and then oh, X-ray 12, and uh, did this go the? Yeah, this is the way we want to go. Oh, yeah, even in the ceiling, but it's not as common. And just stay away from the lava until you barricade slowly, try to shoot further up, let it dissipate, break. And then, if you're good, you can actually aim right at the edge, place and get rid of all that lava. Downfall to having a high efficiency pickaxe in the nether. You will end up, you can end up killing yourself with it. So right there is where, it, is right where we want to be. So we're going to clear a little space out. We're going to fill this in because we don't, yeah, we'll just clear a huge area just after we Put our portal in because now I am because I'm on because I have a large map if you do classic map and you stay only on classic map this system this works also you divide it by eight but if you do medium or smaller medium or small you need to, uh, I found out dividing it by six works also. Yeah, I don't want the corners. <laughs> Not yet anyways. Once I have plenty of obsidian. And then you take it, light it, and go test it. Now we just completely moved the nether portal. Now we're back in the overworld and back into the nether and we're right where we want to be this is where our hub is going to be at why well, I am building it in the ceiling because I want my farms and my nether farms and stuff below it and I don't want to have to deal let's uh, see them 
But, yeah. So, now we got that set up. Let me finish clearing this a little bit out. Next portal we're going to make is going to be by the skeleton farm once we have that built. And we're going to get the portals linked up. Yeah, I know I'm not using my diamond. I don't want to break more than just one block. And we'll come up with a nice design for the nether hub because transportation in here is trouble. And everything we're going to do, we're going to, uh, anytime we need to go from one place to another, we're going to go through the nether because, well, we, here to here will be eight blocks in the overworld. So it'll be a lot faster than anything else. So let's see here and let's go back in. We'll set up a blaze farm in the blade and the nether. Now let's just get it a day. <clears throat> so next step is just getting everything uh, because I got everything we need to start the uh, skeleton farm. I've got plenty of iron, 23 blocks, plus a few extra ingots, 51. Uh, yeah, so I've got plenty of iron. I've got nine observers. I've got enough string, a few tripwire hooks, everything ready. And I've got to just uh, disenchant this. <laughs> And then as soon as we get a uh, more and then we'll just get everything set up. I have a sorter for uh, the bones and then uh, everything else is going to go into a dump chest. We'll take the good uh, we'll take all the bows, keep them because we can utilize them in a uh, for, uh, we can utilize them for dispensers. So that's an advantage to that. But you guys Hope you guys are enjoying the first episode, and next one, we're just going to be doing single projects until we get them done. This one was prepping and getting everything set up for an initial world. But you guys, this is the Redstone Wizard. Enjoy building.